Welcome to this conversation, the Morning Team Marketing Misses. If you haven't joined us before, you will learn that the purpose of what we do here is to offer valuable tips to small business owners and sole traders, help improve their online presence and just how they do business and, and can be in life. As those that have followed us, you'll know that there's a whole lot of different topics. This month, we're talking finance and our hosts today are myself, Janine Bosper. I help people communicate more effectively. They've got Lara Harden and Lara is a business awards coach. Uh, Jen Roche helps people with their websites and also over the over 50s fitness. And Narelle's going to be sharing her ideas on finances today. And Narelle is an accredited accessibility auditor. Hey, ladies, I always look forward to these conversations. Yeah, me too. How are you going? Yeah. How's everybody been? Yeah, yeah really good. good. Yeah. Yeah. And I will mention, Jan, you didn't need to show the photos of Inskip Point this week. Thank oh, you very much that was for making so me feel good. <laughs> or not. Yeah, they were talking about my photos of Airly Beach too, Jan. You know, mm -hmm. the, yeah. I saw and those too. Amazing. And it's all right. Lara and I are going to do the actual research for Janine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I was just discuss that. <laughs> we, we, we've got it covered. We'll do the trip to Cairns. So. Yeah. So, look, ladies, do you know what the theme this week is? Considering it's June. We're it's talking June. about money and finance, right? Money, money. What did Abba sing? Money, money, money. Must yeah. be funny in the rich man's world. Well, yeah. I don't think any of us are rich. So, it depends on how you look at rich. Like, what's rich to you? Rich to me is my family. So, I am oh. very rich that way. Yeah. Money in the bank? No, I'm not rich but do you know what it doesn't matter how much money you've got you still need to budget don't you you still oh, yeah. yeah that no, never it just, ends <laughs> it doesn't I I know I remember when my kids were little and I used to I knew every cent that we spent mm. I could tell you and I'd say to my husband okay this is the amount of money we've got because I'd sit down with our wages and apportion it all out and kids 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 uh, yeah. husband me nothing kids kids because that's what you had to do by the time yeah. you paid the mortgage and paid the food and paid the medical you had nothing left in the bank and we've all was that been those in 17 percent interest rates in oh, the Morel days yeah, yeah. Could have been. yeah it was I remember yeah. I actually sat my father down because he couldn't understand why I didn't stay home from work and I put my I, I was mm -hmm. cranky okay I was <laughs> really cranky and I put my husband's, my husband's wage slip in front of him and said, right, that's the fortnightly pay he goes. Yep, yep. And it's okay. okay, mortgage. And I wrote down everything. And one of our, our son at the time was lactose intolerant. So he was on that, quite, back then it was very expensive um, lactose, formula for lactose intolerant babies and, you know, and then all just the standard stuff that comes with babies. And don't forget back then it was cloth nappies. We didn't yeah. have to buy oh, nappies. Yes. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at the end of it, and added food, and my father said, but, you know, you're in the red. And I'm saying, yep, <laughs> that's right. You're yeah. in the red. And I said, yeah, I am, Dad. That's why I've got to go back to work. Yeah, It's not like I can't not work. And that habit stayed with me. And I know for my sons, I've always been on at them. Make sure you know where your money goes. And I think that equally applies in everything, doesn't it? You need to know where your money goes. We're in a startup business and we're in a niche that a lot of people don't know about. You ladies have known about it because you hear me going on about it all don't the time. Don't know about it yet, Narelle. Yet. True. Digital accessibility. Mm. And one of the first things everyone says to me, oh, it's it, it's an expensive. Why do we need it? And I'll say, well, when you do your budget, do you account for your lost sales? And they said, what do you mean? I said, the sales you don't get because the people can't read the information, can't access the information. Mm. And they go, oh, hadn't thought of that. Mm -hmm. And that's something I think people need to put in their budget, the money they lose. If it's a household budget, you know, those little things like buying the, the you buy an ice cream maybe once a week, but buying an ice cream every day, that's money you lose. Mm. Mm -hmm. you don't put it in the budget mm -hmm. you can't you cannot afford to do that so if business is not looking at all the ways that they can make the most of their budget including their communication because 
Janine, Jan, you guys, and well, the three of you are really fully in communication, aren't you? Mm. That, that's a huge loss, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. What do you think? If you're not well, communicating well, Narelle, is that what you mean? Yeah, if they're yeah. not communicating well, that's a loss to the business, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How yeah. do you it, account for that mm, in a budget? Yeah. yeah, you're leaving money on the table when you when you're yeah. missing out on sales opportunities. Yeah, um, because they're 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 all out there. Mm. They are out there, and it's quite interesting. I keep looking up. Someone once said to me, "When you're looking up to the roof, you're thinking the realm of it." Just realised I'm looking up at the roof, <laughs> but it's like anything. I mean, you've got to make the most of your opportunities and. As we were all, we were all <clears throat> bringing up kids through that 17% and that was so hard. So we learned to make the most of our opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone today, look at what you're missing in lost sales. Make the most of your opportunities and try and drop that percentage of lost sales. It's so important. What do you ladies think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I filled like out that. a, and, and right to Lara, Lara's world today, I filled out an entry for an award that I actually won last year, and that was yeah. <laughs> this year. And I, you know, it was great. I had a copy of everything I put in last year. Good on you. Revised Excellent. it and upda updated it because it was okay. the same questions. That yeah. was, mm. The answers hadn't changed greatly. But a lot of that was to do with how can I save money? And it was to do with sustainability when you're, and that's where they wanted most of the answers and apparently that's what I answered well but how can you be continue to be sustainable and that's something that you need to be looking at when you, you you've got a budget I know you know I, I've been in what I've been doing since 2007 so it's 17 years mm -hmm. and it's not it doesn't doesn't you don't stay in business that long if you don't if you're just spending willy-nilly and mm -hmm. you're not getting that balance of income and outgoing. And, mm -hmm. and I know that's what, what I'll talk about when we do the next conversation is looking at what you're spending your money on and how you might be able to save money because it's really easy in business to go, yeah, I'll get that. And, mm -hmm. and, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but it's really the money you do spend, it's spending it wisely. And obviously for me, I do think digital accessibility is spending it wisely because it doesn't matter who it is, if you're not communicating well, mm -hmm. you've lost the sale. Um, I don't know whether there's much more I can say, just that, you know, when I'm the first off the rank with finance and when we look at finance and budget, tax time, this is when we need to be really re-looking really at our budget, looking at how we're spending our money, looking at what are the opportunities we're missing mm. and how we can enhance those opportunities. And part of it comes back to the way we're contacting people and how we're communicating with people. Mm. And it all comes back to your budget. Don't communicate properly. You can budget all you like. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. make a difference. Can I share, can I be vulnerable for a moment, mm. ladies, and share something with you, even, even on the topic of budgeting alone? Because, you know, the idea of um, budgeting was something that until recently it was quite an obstacle or a stumbling block for me because my last marriage, I came out of a DV relationship and there was financial abuse. And so, you know, getting past and beyond all of that, one of the things I had to do in, you know, starting a business for myself was get comfortable with looking at spreadsheets and filling them in and, you know, and then keeping a track of my money as well. And I actually found that quite intimidating because there was um, trauma uh, associated with spreadsheets, you know, for me with the ex. And so that was quite difficult for me to know, oh, I've got to be in business, but I've got, I've got to know my numbers. I've got to do the maths. I've, I've, geez, I need to do spreadsheets. How can I do this? And I ended up coming across a really good book by a, an author called Mike Michalowicz, who wrote Profit First. He's written a number of other books as well. And one of the strategies that he gives is he says, look, if, if budgets are too hard and spreadsheets, you can actually bypass it. <laughs> <laughs> and and that just felt like a waterfall of refreshment, you know, when I read that and and I was listening to it on his audio book because I read, read it through a few times so I could understand it and realise how it works. Mm -hmm. And he basically says, look, you know, you can have a budget through your bank account. So if you're not good with spreadsheets, don't feel like you can't budget because if you use your bank accounts like 
buckets or like envelopes like they used to do mm. back in the day, you can still manage your money. You can see where it's going. You can have, you know, think you can have different accounts where you've got money put aside for this, that and the other to help, you know, build sustainability and build profitability in your business. And he said, you start small. And, you know, like he said, it's it's just a matter of if, oops, sorry. So it's just, that means we've got five minutes to go. <laughs> it's just a matter of recognising that if you start small, even with 1%, you know, like he says, and then every quarter you increase it, like you might double it to 2%. And then the quarter after that, you double it again to 4% profitability and you learn to live off the rest. And since I've implemented that as a strategy, that has just sort of like, you know, <laughs> taken all this, um, yeah, like anxiety and overwhelm I had about spreadsheets out the window. And it's just been another way of doing mm. things so that I can still give mm. on top of it. Actually, the book awesome. that I read is The Richest Man in Babylon. Yeah, That's I a good love one. that exactly. book. Yeah. Love I, love it. It. I have read and read and read it and yeah. it's the same premise. Yes. Exactly the same premise. Yeah. 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 Always. Both, both good examples of yeah that you can follow mm-hmm. now, i have to i have to I, own up i'll do an uh, own up to thing as well i i pay my bass every every quarter and i have the money put aside for that you know i, I make sure i do and then i did last year's tax in early this year and then it was um, my accountant came back to me and said you owe quite a few thousand dollars and i've gone money i pay tax and i went, Oh no, I haven't paid tax. No. I paid my bass, but I hadn't yeah. paid tax. Yeah. It was okay. So I had to do that today. I had to go and grab it out of bank accounts and yeah. and pay my tax from 22, 23. Oh, That's wow. a, I'm not going to be caught thing. on that again. Which yeah. is the big thing that a lot of businesses get caught out on. Yeah. Is that they think they're paying their bass. That's great, but they don't think about income tax. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a massive thing. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so, that was my holiday savings. So I went, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, the thing is, you had it. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. But it was—it's yeah. not due the seventeenth, so I've sort of left it to the last possible time to yeah. pay oh, it as well. Better yeah. in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. Thank you, Narelle. I think that's such an important factor, though, is looking. But what you're saying also is being aware that there's certain things you need to invest in and are you losing business if you don't invest? In yes. Mm, and yeah. really making sure yeah. that you where you're spending your money mm. is in the right places yeah. for your business growth as well, as well as what you're saving on. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. That's yeah. it, ladies. Yeah, excellent. What did, what did my mum used to say? Well, she still says it. Look after the pennies and the pounds look after themselves. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a and a percentage, a percentage here, percentage there, it all, yep. it all, it all works out, all yep. saves yep. and adds up for us. Definitely. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Norella, and thank you for everybody for your comments in that. And that's another episode, conversation, Morning Tea Marketing Misses. Remember to check out our YouTube channel and like and comment anything that you found that you value or any comments that you might have about your finances. We'd love to hear from you. Bye-bye for now.